welcome back to the Pokemon Casino, everyone. It's a bit of a different casino that we got going today. It's not my regular pack opening. I thought I'd sort of change it up a little bit, you know. Um, since I am changing over to Japanese set from the English, I want to sort of get a sense of what the price of singles was uh, for a card, since I won't be obviously opening up cases and caseloads of Japanese cards, uh, but rather just open up a few, see how my RNG is, seeing how my luck goes, and then seeing what the set has to offer. And if there's a card that's really appealing to me, that I really like, that I feel like I want as part of my collection, I could obviously get the singles. And the great thing about living in Hong Kong is that we can get them um, in Hong Kong. Obviously, a lot of people collect Japanese, so they sell it uh, within the local market. And there's also other like, online uh, proxy services we can use to ship it from Japan as well. So Card Rush is obviously a large or a big source because of how well they do their online uh, website, I think, uh, for their store in terms of buying and selling cards. So I thought it'd be sort of helpful to keep track of of these cards, of this card market. Uh, so uh, the latest set is S11, Lost Abyss, and I thought it'd be pretty good just to see how this market is going right now in terms of singles and to sort of keep track of it and to uh, see how it evolves over time. Uh, see which cards go up, which cards go down, see what's in demand, etc. So if you like this kind of content, you want to see more of it, help me by clicking that subscribe button, clicking that like button, and seeing how we go. Uh, but obviously, I think we know from this set which one is the most highly sought after. It's this Giratina secret rare secret art card. It just looks absolutely stunning when people saw it when it was leaked out. It's 20,800 yen right now. At today's exchange, that's about 230 US dollars. <laughs> so a pretty chunky card. Uh, if you catch this one, it's basically the jackpot uh, for this deck. Uh, one that I really want, but probably a bit out of my price or uh, budget at $230. We'll see if that one goes down in the future. Not really sure. Uh, but the next one up, uh, as we can all sort of expect it as well, is the waifu card. Uh, Lady uh, for this one. Full art. At 9,980 yen, which is about 76 US dollars. And they have a ton of these ones in stock. As you can see underneath the price tag, it's 70. Uh, that means how many sort of they have in inventory. And then one beside it uh, is actually referencing a sale. So they're actually selling this one at a discount of about uh, 5,000 or 4, 500 yen cheaper. So that's less than $5 right now. Uh, and I guess one of the reasons that they have so much in inventory, they want to sort of move this right now. Uh, so to round up sort of the top three is another Garantina, but this time it's the uh, V-Star variant, uh, the Ultra Rare, uh, UR. That's 8780 yen, 67 US dollars right now. So the top three, sort of what we would have expected, I think. Uh, the Waifu card obviously expected to be up there if it's a more pre-appealing one. Uh, we have the Alt Art, that which we absolutely expected. And then obviously Garantina V-Star. Um, so this must be mean that it's quite playable in the meta. Uh, people want this one uh, that's supporting that price tag, uh, which is great to see. Uh, obviously, games are going out there, competitions, tournaments. So that's obviously having some demand impact right now. Uh, so that's good to see. Uh, as we move down, I think it's also what we would expect to see, right? And the fourth and fifth position are also alternate art cards. We have Aerodactyl at number four. We have Rotom at number five. Uh, pretty similar in pricing, not too far off. The Aerodactyl, which is absolutely so pretty. You have sort of him as a pterodactyl. Uh, ancient dinosaur flying over a valley. There's a, there's a volcano in the background. You have Tropius as sort of the brontosauruses. They have uh, Shieldons, uh, little Shieldons here. Uh, as, as I guess like Triceratops, etc. So super cute artwork there. Really love what the artists have done with that card. Definitely deserves to be uh, fourth highest in terms of demand or pricing for that one. Uh, but also not too bad, right? It's 38 US dollars to buy the single. So for pretty art, art, alt art, not so bad. And then we got the Rotom, which is the fifth most expensive one. Uh, this is actually a really cool card as well. Really cute, playful one. Rotom being in, surrounded by all the electronics at home. Uh, 3,580 yen, or 
it's actually 27 US dollars equivalent. So it is, it's quite nice to see that one. And then obviously we have um, the Giratina to, as a sixth place in terms of most expensive. Uh, it's a secret rare. It's a full art. The Japanese, they consider the full art cards uh, secret rares. So there's a big chance that you're probably going to pull one of these ones, etc. and not alt arts. Uh, that's just how it is. It's a secret rare, so it's actually still quite hard to get. I think the, it goes like secret rare, ultra rare, hyper rare in terms of the difficulty to pull in terms of drop rates. The Garatina V, full art, and I think it's because it's also sort of meta in demand. It's 3,280 yen, uh, so 25 US dollars. Uh, and then up next, uh, really quite high up in the list, uh, is an item card. Uh, we have Lost Sweeper, Ultra Rare, 3180 or $24. And there's a uh, there's a trainer card right after that, uh, which is Colorless's Experiment, Secret Rare as well, uh, $2,580 or $20. Uh, and then we go back to some of the cooler, or what I would like to collect. Uh, I'm a Pokemon collector. I'm not a trainer collector. Uh as much i want to focus on my pokemon and he had this really cute galarian Perserker v card alternate art uh it's going for two thousand four hundred eighty dollars uh yet i mean but not dollars that'd be crazy or or, or twenty dollars us so actually pretty affordable um, it's it's less than sort of half the price of a booster i would think uh so it's actually not too bad uh, if you want to pick this up, if you didn't get it, uh, I don't think Galarian Perserker is like super high on the highly sought for Pokemon list. So expect that one to sort of drop in price, I would. Uh, up next, we have our first Rainbow Rare or Hyper Rare, as they, they call it here. It's the Giratina V-Star. And again, probably part of the meta that you can use this card, 2,380 yen or $18 at it this time. Uh, we have Waifus next, uh, the Lady Hyper Rare, 1880. You'll always see a discount on this, I think, as compared to the full arts. People just like the full art colors, the how it's meant to look, uh, quote unquote. So I think we're always going to see that sort of discount for the Hyper Rares. Uh, but it's at 1880 right now, yen, or $14. And you got a Stadium card, uh, nothing too interesting over there. You have Kyurium VMAX Hyper Rare. Uh, as the next card, most expensive, 1,280 yen or 10 US dollars. And then afterwards, everything's sort of single digits, uh, which shows the, the set is actually not too bad. Uh, there's obviously less secret rares in these Japanese sets as compared to the US, uh, just because they don't combine sets like the US does. The US probably combines two or three Japanese set cards uh, into one. Uh, which is why there's so many more cards in that in that set, and it's hard, pretty hard to get a master set, I would say. Uh, afterwards, like I said, there's uh, not much love for these cards. We have who's at Thornton Secret Rare. It's 10, 1,080 yen right now. Uh, that's the equivalent of eight dollars US. And talking about no love and and really uh, not considered a waifu card at all. It's Fantina Secret Rare, 980. Uh, just such a big difference, right? It's basically 10 times, uh, or like 10 times, one tenth of the price of the Lady Secret Rare. Uh, not appealing at all. People just don't like this card. I guess it's not useful in the meta as well. Uh, it's $7 US. Uh, and yeah, it's just not, it's not great. But also wanted to talk about maybe not the Hyper Rares as much. Uh, I think that there is less appeal in the Hyper Rare, the Rainbow Rare cards these days but me as a fan of full arts i actually love full arts um alt arts obviously really hard to pull a lot more expensive but i'm a big full art fan so we have kyurium out here as a full art it's 680 or five dollars we have rotom full art which is the same price five dollars uh aerodactyl uh galarian Perserker as well so these four are all five dollars us uh, which is fantastic, right? You can pay five dollars to get these cards in your set. Um, I'll probably want to be doing that once I really start getting my Japanese collection going, building up my full art deck. Uh, maybe getting rid of my English one too. We'll see how it goes. But that's uh, th that's interesting to see. I thought, and there's some even like uh, cheaper full art cards. We have uh, Delphox, we have Drapion, we have Pidgeot. We have these three full art cards, all at 580 yen a piece. Or four dollars US. So Pidgeot is probably the favorite one that I like out of these ones. 
uh, just because it's one of the originals. But hey, here you go. Uh, as we said, I think the three most expensive cards is what we expected. I'll be keeping track of these, sort of having some follow-up videos on it, uh, just to see how the price movement goes uh, in the future after new sets are released as well, if there's maybe not as much demand or interest in these cards. Um, so if you like this, let me know in the comments um, if there's some content that you find interesting, just to learn about Japanese card prices and see how they're going to evolve. And uh, click that like and click that subscribe button, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, until the next time, until the next video, I hope you guys have great RNG. Thanks. Bye.